So we are done injecting the pork shoulder and now we've got to put a nice rub on there. What I've got here is uh, one of the products I make. This is the Croy Valley All Meat Rub. Nice commercial rubs, any kind of flavor that you like, certainly will work, anything that pairs beautifully with pork. And I've got some recipes on the uh, website as well for some nice rubs that you can check out. A dry rub does two things. Number one, it imparts flavor, obviously. Second thing that it does is that it actually helps to protect the meat and kind of seal in the juices. A lot of rubs have uh, not only salt, but they have a lot of sugar in them. And that sugar is going to caramelize under the heat of the grill and create what's referred to as a bark. That bark is kind of that crusty sort of uh, uh, dark outer layer that you get on the meat. And it's not burned. It may look you know, really dark, may look black at times, but it's so tender and so absolutely delicious. When putting on a dry rub, I am putting this over the entire piece of exposed meat. There's not a, a, an inch of this that won't have some rub on it. And it's again, because it adds a lot of really good flavor. And you know, we just kind of put it in there, massage it on, make sure that it sticks really well, get all sides of it. And just kind of really do what the name says. It's a rub, rub it into the meat. The reason why I trimmed out that money muscle really nice like that as well is because when I turn it into slices, I've got rub around the entire thing now. You can see that. It's like a cylindrical muscle. I can put this in slices and there's only going to be a little tiny bit there that doesn't have that really nice bark on it. I'll tell you one other tip when you're smoking large pieces of meat like this is don't throw them on your heat source, uh, whether it's the grill or the smoker, don't put them on there when they're cold they're not going to cook as fast or as even when they're cold. So you want to make sure that your meat is brought up to room temperature, maybe a couple of hours sitting out before it actually hits the smoker. That's going to make sure that the heat goes all the way around it and cooks it nice and even and you don't have these pockets where it's raw and it gets, you know, starting to get burnt or dried out on the other end. So that's looking pretty good. I'll tell you what, we're going to toss this on the smoker. And uh, I've got my smoker set at about 275 degrees. It's kind of where I like to, uh, to put it. And uh, this will take us maybe around five to six hours on the particular smoker I'm using. If you're using some offset smokers, some pellet smokers, things that uh, may require a little extra time or attention, this could take up to 10 hours to cook. It's really dependent upon what you're cooking on. So let's go ahead and toss that up.